flash seat. Hi guys. Hey, Tom. How are you? How are you? How are you? Yeah, that was good, right? Some modest talent. That's how they do the visual effects. I don't like to brag about it. Yeah, and then they just speed it up. So, Simple as that. Even though it was HR really who had the relationship with Cisco and, and he bonded so well with everyone, does Wells kind of get a chance to reconnect with Cisco and reestablish his relationship? Or, Which Wells? Uh, the, Wells the Wells that's currently in the season. Is it not Wells? Which one? <laughs> um, Which, whichever you're playing this season. <laughs> well, is someone there to take over HR? Is basically friendship that he had with Cisco and all. Um, yeah, there may be a few versions. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna start with uh, Harry. But one of the strengths of the show has always been to, you know, we create. We created this area of privilege where it's like, as we have an explanation and a, a pathway that allows us to be more than one person. We've created this. You know, you created a cage and then we can rattle the cage. And the cage is the multiverse. Different Earths, you know, Earth-19 wells, Earth-2 wells, Earth-1 wells, you know, um, Eobard Thawne. There's all this, uh, it's been a joy to be on a show that is ostensibly a long-running show, but that allows me to play more than one character. Like a real a real privilege. And so most of the, what I hear from, you know, the people that, that watch it are like, what's it going to be? This year, you know, we're, we don't have a, a huge interest in repeating ourselves, but it's nice to start off with a base and then, like, use whatever our story arcs are as the season progresses to uh, uh, manufacture another version of, of Wells. What, what I hear from, like, we, we all always, like, I was like, you know what, we're, we're missing a daily antagonist, which is the reason for Harry in season two. We're missing some humor, that was the reason for HR in season three. And, um, what I always hear from the from the fans is like, well, so it's going to be one of those guys that we saw for a split second, Cowboy Wells, uh, Steampunk Wells, Mime Wells, and I'm like, no, you don't want a guy spitting all over the cortex. A, B, you, we already did Tom Felton with the British accent, and you don't want a mime. So we'll have to come up with something a little more inventive, a little more creative, a little a little different. And again, like the the reason I signed on to the show is the reverse flash. And so that's always in the back pocket. And so as we progress, you know, as we move further along, I think there's always room to get the, you know, to pull the yellow suit out. Plus, as an actor, it's a, it's a great challenge for you to just go all. It's phenomenal. It's really trouble for the wardrobe department. But for me, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, when I'm playing two guys in one scene, they're always like, what, who is he? What is he wearing? Yeah. Which guys is he? Who is he? Which timeline? Yeah, yeah. No, literally, they lose their minds. It's great. What pants? <laughs> It is like a, like I I mean not to belabor the point, but it is it does feel like a privilege, you know, to, to play, to be on a show where they've the producers have created the reason behind and a good reason behind being, you know, a number of, of different people. You know, it's uh, if you're fortunate enough to be in a long running show, oftentimes you're just playing the same person you know, season after season after season. For me to be able to have like a different, you know, a different guy, uh, it's great, you know? Big what, killed? Yeah, it's, yeah I mean, it's, uh, I, I always, we always know going in, like I always know what it's gonna be. And we, like, that was the reason for the drumsticks. Last year for HR was like, we wanted some kind of tableau, non-verbal tableau that sort of gave us an idea of what we what we were missing or the spirit of the guy and like very early on I was like, I'm gonna use these drumsticks and then when Savitar he goes to kill Savitar or we have that big moment, the drumsticks will slow motion fall out and we ended up doing it. But I didn't tell these guys. Grant would always be like, Why do you have drumsticks? I'm like, Yeah, exactly. Why? <laughs> Yes. Yes. How do you come up with that when you kind of make a new character? A couple of us kind of discussing, like, Eda Heights is like split second images of these people that we saw on the earth. Would there ever down the line be maybe like a female version of Harrison? I think, I, 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 I think that is, first off, a tremendous. That's been. So I'm not going to say whether we're going to do that because I don't know, but that's been part of the discussion. It's like, well, there should be, do you know what I mean? Like in the way that there could be like a, a female flash and, you know, all this. Uh, I think when we, like I say, when you create the, 
the reason behind it. It's like, great, we can go anywhere now. You know what I mean? We, we've, got, we've got a multiverse to choose from, and we, and we can go anywhere, you know? So um, I liked the relationship between, uh, you know, like the, the younger, like the Jesse Quick, you know, the little, you know, like that kind of dynamic, and who knows what powers and what, you know, what her storyline is, arc's going to be going forward. Like, this show is going to run, I heard, for like 27 years, so, you know, I think there's a lot of room for a lot of things. Yeah, cool. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, thanks very much. I get paid by the word, which is why my characters are so voluble. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, you guys.